Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. This is week 4 assignment of the course Joy of Computing using Python. So we have uploaded past assignment videos as well. You can have a look at, at it by visiting our videos section of our channel. Guys, please watch the video till the end. Don't skip the video. Now let's see the probable solutions for week 4 assignment. These are completely our probable solutions guys. If there are any changes that come to our notice by ourselves, Definitely we will update that in the comment section. You can also suggest your own solutions in the comment section, right? So for the past 5 to 6 years we have been providing solutions. First question, what is the output type of the function jumble word of Mona? So for first question, fourth option, string is the probable solution guys. So mark fourth option as the probable solution for first question. Now let's move on to the second one. Why do we use list that means word before shuffling in jumble underscore word? So for second question first option strings are immutable so we can convert to list. So mark first option as the probable solution for second question. Now let's move on to the third. Guys if you are new to our channel please subscribe our channel definitely like this video then only our videos will reach more number of students and they will also note the solutions like you. And please share this with your friends and classmates don't forget that guys. Next third question, what will happen if we remove if we remove dot lower from both sides? For third question, second third option, it may incorrectly mark right answers as wrong if case differs. Third option as the probable solution for third question. Next fourth one, which function is used to randomize the order of items in a list in the given code? So for fourth question, second option, random dot shuffle is the probable solution. Next fifth one, what issue can occur with this line jumbled equal to jumbled word of original. So for fifth question, first option is the probable one. It may return the original word in the same order. Next sixth question, which modification ensures that the jumbled word is not the same as the original. So for sixth question, fourth option, add a loop to reshuffle it, reshuffle until different. Fourth option is the probable solution. Next seventh one. Suppose the word is Yoda. What is the which of the following is the least desirable output of this one? If the goal is to challenge the user. So second option Yoda is the probable solution for seventh question. Eighth one. What is the probable of random dot choice of characters? So for eighth question, first option is the probable solution to select a character randomly from the list. Next, what will happen if the character's list is empty? So ninth question. So for ninth question, first option is the probable solution. The program will crash with index error. Next tenth one, which of the following is the best way to score the user if you want to turn this into a five round game? So for tenth question, second option is the probable solution. Credit, uh, create a list of five questions and loop with a score variable. Next, eleventh one. What will be the output of the following code? So for 11th question, first option is the probable solution, guys. Next, 12th question. What does line matrix dot append of 0 into 3 do inside a loop? So for 12th question, second option creates a new list each time and appends it. Appends it. Second option is the probable solution for 12th question. Next, 13th one. What is the result of this code? So for 13th question, 3 is the probable answer. Next, 14th one. Which of the following correctly creates a 2 by 2 matrix of zeros? Oh, I mean, uh, fourth one, uh, 14th question, right? So for 14th question, both A and C. Fourth option is the probable one. Next, 15th question. Which of these statements acts as the last element of the first row in the matrix? This 3 by 3 zero, uh, 0 matrix right so for 15th question third option 0 2 is the probable solution matrix of 0 2 so we have completed 15 questions right first half we have completed so before getting into the six, 16th question I want to make a small announcement so that is regarding exam preparation MCQs for the course joy of computing using python with 5 to 6 years of NPTEL experience we have collected this these are collection of 
past nine semesters assignment MCQs. Suppose if each semester has 120 questions, then we have a collection of nine past semester assignment questions, guys. So there is basic pack 125 MCQs, 150 rupees. And if you increase the number of MCQs, price will be decreased according to that, guys. 125 MCQs, 150 rupees. 240 MCQs approximately, that means two semesters questions. 240 MCQs, 250. 360 MCQs, 360 only. 600 MCQs, just 500. And 1000 plus approximate MCQs, just 800 rupees, guys. So nine semesters equivalent questions. So if you want any of this pack according to your budget, then mail me to this email id bk179417 at the rate gmail.com already many students and even professors have also taken this pack these are past nptl assignment mcqs you will get that in a google drive pdf restricted link validity will be till the exam results day guys so no need to worry about the validity and take it now itself because if you take now then you can get more time to revise at the end so learn from now itself so these are past NPTEL assignment MCQs. Google, you will get that in a Google Drive PDF restricted link. For uh, so 125 MCQs basic pack 150 rupees, guys. 240 MCQs 250. So my suggestion is it's better to take at least 360 MCQs pack to cover more number of models. 360 huge number of MCQs. So if you take it in a bulk pack, this is all for single person price, guys. If you take it in a bulk along with your friends, the prices may vary. We can discuss that if you mail me to this email ID. So these are single person prices. So if you take it in a group, you can get for reduced amount in a bulk, right? So bk179417 at the red gmail.com. Mail me to this email ID, guys. I'll give the same email ID in the description box also. So now let's get back to the solutions. Already many students and even professors have also taken our pack. So 16th question. For 16th question, third option creates a 2 by 3 matrix with values increasing across rows. Third option. 17th one. Which Python structure is best to represent a 3 by 3 grid of numbers? So, list of lists is the probable solution. Next, 18th one. What does this code do? So, for 18th question, Second option is the probable one. Creates a 3 by 3 matrix with all values as 1. Next, which of the following will raise an index error for a 2 by 2 matrix? For 19 question, second option, 2, 0 is the probable solution. Next, what will be the output of the following code? So, this is the code they have given. They are asking out of, with, out of these 4 options, what is the output you will get if you execute this code? So for 20th question, first option is the probable solution. 1, 4, 2, 5 and 3, 6. Next, 21st question. What is the value of zeros? So for this second, 0 is the probable solution. Next, 22nd one. What is the length of the list events? 22nd one, 5 is the answer guys, probable solution. Next 23rd one, what is the type of add table? For 23rd one, list is the probable solution. Next 24th, what does matrix of 1 evaluate to? For this one, first option, 10, 11, 12 is the probable solution. Next 25th question, what is the shape of the transpose list? For this one, Second option, 3 by 2, I mean 3 into 2. Next, 26th, what is the value of add table 2, 2? 26th, also second option. Fourth, 4 guys. Next, 27th, what is the value of transpose 0, 1? It is first option, 10 guys. Next, 28th, what is the last element of the list events? For this, second option, 8. 29th, which formula was used to generate the values in the matrix list? For 29th, third option, R into 10 plus C. And moving on to the last question of the assignment, that is 30th question, final quiz. So guys, once again, I want to make you remember that we have gathered the collection of past 9 assignment MCQs. These are past NPTEL assignment MCQs. 
so these are the prices guys you can choose any pack you want mail me to this email id bk1794178 at the rate gmail.com if you want to take this along with your friends or classmates in a group multiple group pulse person group then prices may vary guys you can discuss once you mail me to this email id if you are taking for one person the prices are these guys validity will be till the exam results day even many students and even professors have also taken this pack so these are nptl past assignment and cqs so 100 percent accurate to the syllabus so now let's move, move on to the last question so for last question guys what is the sum of all values in transpose of 1 so for 30 question 30th question second option 12 is the probable solution so friends these are the most probable solutions for week 4 assignment of the course python joy of computing using python hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same definitely subscribe our channel definitely like this video and please share this with your friends and classmates and don't forget to purchase this huge number of nine past assignment mcqs 1000 plus mcqs guys these are the packs you can choose any pack you want validity will be till the exam results day bk1794178 at the rate gmail.com mail me to this email id i will provide this in the description box so that's it guys so keep supporting us like this forever so until the next video goodbye thank you